Welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. It is Act 2, Chapter 8, where we're still doing the optional um, achievements or the optional missions. We got a legendary armor and quite a bit of good loot actually the last time, but that is a story for after this mission because now we need to decide what we want to do. We either got a strike against uh, Ukon or that here would be equipment cases, send a team into the hot zone and retrieve equipment cases before they blow it into pieces. This here looks um, like one of uh, those potentially the little icons here tell you what kind of mission it is. So this is a de demolition mission. I, I think we want to do that and we're going to use our typical team Gabe Sid and Mikala and they are going to be joined as always by our heavy tank I really like that team feels like comfort picks so that is good enemies get 20% evasion don't care we're just dealing more damage and then that'll be it yeah that's an explosive charge mission Target's an emulsion stash the grubs are prepping for their usual bullshit blow it with an explosive charge and take out whatever resistance you find okie dokie let's go Well, it's another bridge. Killing Those time. missions always seem to be reach the bridge, kill a lot of shit before you reach the bridge, and then kill a lot of shit after the bridge, and then explode uh, the target, plus eventually flee. There was one crate, there's the second one, and there's the third one. I'm not sure what the target is supposed to be, but typically it's not that far away, so I would take a wild guess and say up here. Oh, four crates this time. Fantastic. Well, the game is really trying to hand us uh, some loot. Ready. Later, Jack. We're taking some high ground up here. Careful and in full cover. I like the idea of overwatching everything over there. All ease. Watch me go. Mikala has run and gun and high ground. Down. Good. I got Overwatch. Overwatching there. On the lookout. More Overwatch and Wilco. Sid is going to be our frontliner as always. Even more Overwatch. Well, that guy does not enjoy his current uh, current state. Time to make a move. Yeah, that's typically where one of those nice little grenades comes in handy. Specifically, if you want to interrupt both of them. Oh. 
And in terms of just killing them, how about we're using Sniper's Aura? Good work, Jack. Yeah, that's an 80% chance of critting him. Gonna need some ammo. You or me, asshole. All right. I'm on it. Good. Our front line moves up. Nice. Got that extra AP. On it. The hair triggers turn out to be better than I would have expected, or swift as it is called in this um, game. They're actually triggering relatively often. 15% is more than you would think. Scanning now. Time to hide. Jack's cloak. On it. Good. Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. Dig it. Here they come. They never learn. <laughs> oh, hides right behind Time there. To, get to work. Let's go. On my way. Good, moving up. Actually had better odds when standing up there. Low on ammo. Got one. Uh-huh. Yes. You got it. Good, we're moving up. Big fat overwatch Standing here. Now. I'm not taking any chances with this guy. Target down. We gotta got prove critical, right. unfortunately that doesn't help us with overwatches. Got it covered. Jack moves up. And we're right. hiding. Later, Jack. Good, moving over here. And that's not going to kill, uh, to unfortunately erase it however even though this Good now work. triggers poison and kind of weakening us we still got the kill i'm still not sure if they are if they simply are left to die if that means we are getting the experience or not and sid um that's it uh, gabe needs a lot of experience Heavy on standby. Setting up a perimeter. Okay. We'll go. <clears throat> on it. Good. No, Waiting man. here. Later, Jack. And starting to move over. In turn. The last tick can please Don't run into our overwatch. Thank you. 
Eat dirt and die. Yep. Heading out. <laughs> Good, moving up. Reporting. I still need a couple of turns until everything's uh, fully prepared. Gotta get the show rolling. Drops coming. I've got over Last time someone dropped on us. Affirmative. Let's make sure that's not happening again. Heavy here. Eyes peeled. One more round. Affirmative. Good. Potentially no one is going to drop, but I distinctly remember the one mission where all of a sudden two grenadiers came in. Let's see what they got. And we're like, yeah, surprise, surprise, we're here. I should learn to shut up. You've been looking forward to this. I'm here. Throwing a grenade. Seriously, that was Kill surprisingly confirmed. predictable. Idea. That the moment that I would uh, say something about <laughs> eventually getting ambushed, Doing that it good, would Jack. actually happen. over thanks for the assist Jack good critical strikes let's go Reloading, and that should be a kill. Very good. So the advantage of that is advancing. Diaz here grabs a big fat rocket launcher, and everything is going to be fine. Coming. Yep. Ready. Good. We're moving as close as we can. And next turn, we're going to give it a go. Yep. No one needs to reload. Fantastic. <laughs> and with a boom stick or boom shock or whatever it's called, we do have two bonus grenades, so that's actually net net the win. Not very surprisingly, it was exactly at the location that I thought it was. Got a crate here. 
Got another crate here. Quite a few enemies. Where was the last crate? Ah, up here. Okay, cool. Go ahead. On the move. Yeah, yeah. Good, we're charging in. Just in case someone lands. Eyes peeled. to take the front line here this is a nice little high ground Sniper begins to move up. Jack moves up. Jack carries an aura Jack. and then makes himself invisible. Jack, close. Far so good. That was a solid hit. That's a free reload and a free action point. I think we're not going to use that yet. Yep. Go ahead. Instead, let's move up. This takes good care of the Berserk. Just so that you can't really reach us. And we're good in terms of overwatches. Support on hand. Good, I could I could try to nuke them, but I think the boomstick is too valuable. To do that, maybe when they cluster up and we can kill two of them. So, first things first. Aim bonus for everyone. Good assist, Jack. Let's 
specifically for our heavy, then we're yes. going to hide. Jack's cloaked. Very nice. That worked out incredibly well. I'm here. Berserk is next. Reloading. Good, let's give our sniper some more actions to do. That's a crit and a kill. Another kill. Out of ammo. Okay, still worth it. Oh, and she got swift yet again. Heavy on so nice little reload. Okay. Setting up a perimeter. Yeah, we're just overwatching for we're now. Over here. Look, we don't even need the boom shock. On the move. I see him. <laughs> One dead grub. Let's kick some ass. Yep, moving. Yep. Okay, our tank is doing what he's supposed to, which is tanking. At the same time, Jack is following. Throws out some more damage reduction up, and heights. Stay out of trouble, Jack. On my way. I'm listening. Scanning now. Good. We're moving in. So far, so good. Don't need to shoot the boomstick yet. It was really I'm ready. not a single time that it was worth it. One. Copy. Now with him in cover, that's a different story. Almost out. Do not tell me that that finishes the mission, because I would be really, really mad. There was another crate. Uh, oh my gosh, we missed the crate. May I just say that that is a bit of a stupid game design. Could have easily collected all of the crates. Okay, lesson learned. We are not going to kill the last enemy before all of the crates are being collected. At least the boomstick was somewhat good because he took some kills. That's good. And we're well into level 5. Soon these two guys will be level 6, which is great. And let's claim some extra loot, shall we? Ooh. That looks like 
awesome loot. So let's let's maybe start here. We got sleek. First time unit moves. Yeah, that's what we already have. Glory. When this unit executes an enemy, 100% chance to reduce the skill cooldown by two. Well, this is two, two plus 20% evasion as well. That is too good to not use it. Who could use that? You know, as strange as it sounds, it's actually him. Because we can execute a lot of enemies with Diaz. Here we got a 60% chance, but for him, it's always a useful skill that is going to be reduced, right? Currently he has Blitz, which is a really good uh, option. Untraceable, Overwatch shots deal substantially less damage. I think Blitz is still better. Oh, and we got a blast zone. 25% radius on grenades. That's fantastic for our scout. He will go with optics. No, he, he he's not going with optics. But the blast zone is good. The harden might even be better for him. Extra evasion. 20% critical hit damage. Let's go with Harden for now. Although that could also be something that our tank could use. Okay, so Marcella, let's start with her because here we had Blast Zone. Kind of a no brainer on her. She has Grenadier. That's also a no-brainer. And she has Utility Belt, which unless we get Utility Belt on an Epic, I don't think that we're going to um, to change that. Swift is not too bad. I like it. It worked well so far. Good. So she's she's doing well. Let's go with the sniper next. She has movement range and evasion. I think we're going to give her sleek because that will increase her damage further. Currently auto loader. Shots and cover gain accuracy. That's not bad. Autoloader, however, is better for her. She has ammunition problems. And she has super optics, 10% crit chance. Targets enemy out of cover, gets double crit chance. Yeah, that is unbeatably good. Swift is good, but I think 40 damage is better. Because that will lead to higher crits. Swift is fantastic. Very, very good. Crit chance is also good. Crit damage is good. Yeah, her weapon is great. I like it. Secondary. She's picking up one of those pistols. The other one with the pistol should be the scout. Because quite frankly speaking, the scout sometimes needs the pistol to even reach the target. The shotgun is close range, almost close range only. So here we do have double down, which was that 
stacking damage buff, right? And I think the stacking damage buff is the right thing to do with him. Uh, he had the champion, the healing equipped. I don't think that that is really good. Let's go for untraceable. I've had situations where he needed to shoot into overwatch and take a shot and having 50 percent damage reduction means a lot so here we had optics the blast zone isn't isn't bad but I think optics is just better. Critical hit chance is great in this game. 20 damage and disrupt is the best we could hope for. Patrol means overworld shots plus 20% damage. Great. Ammunition, great. And we could take some more damage on the weapon here, but it's already quite good. Takes a better pistol. Well equipped. We had Mikai. Let's do him. Flatliner is still the best. Yeah, that is by far the best. And Swift is better than the 30 damage because it triggers often. Okay, we got Hardened here. 10% maximum health. The Blast Zone wasn't bad either. He used to be relatively good with the grenades. But I like him and his tank tank ability as well. 75% damage reduction from overwatch shots. Fantastic. And here he, we had another damage reduction. The helmet was maximum health. Okay, cool. So that brings us finally to Diaz and I would build him as the executor. Every unit gets extra health when he executes. Helmet. Twenty percent critical hit damage. It's not chance. It's the critical hit damage. I think we're instead going with hardened. Um, that ten percent extra health can come in handy. And here we got glory. So when he kills a unit, his skills reduce by two, and everybody gets healed for fifteen percent. That is really good. Got another uh, a pair of glory boots uh, there. But I think we're not going to use them. I believe we're relatively well equipped. Uh, we got another scout here, one which has uh, obfuscate. Let's do the free cloaking. That will help.
the anticipation isn't bad either for kind of uh, together with the cloak for like that one big round and faster cooldown is good as well this is currently one additional action and that is two additional actions let's give her two additional actions i'd like to play with that side as well seems like a fun build and they are all blue equipped which is fine so you can just take them off the shelf and essentially use them now one thing that i've noticed is you get so many extra units might as well just stick with your main units for now that makes a lot of a uh, lot more sense and this here is a legendary weapon mod which means that's the last mission of act two which is going to happen in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy Gears Tactics, then please leave a comment and a like down below. It means a lot to me, and the YouTube algorithm says thank you as well. Take care, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.